hi guys, it's Kate here with another meditation. Today we're going to work with a meditation that is focused on tapping into and moving from our joy. So making decisions for ourselves that are self-loving and self-nourishing and following, following our joy to make our decisions in life. As life starts to get a bit busier again, we're coming out of sort of restrictions that have kept us being as sociable as perhaps we, perhaps we were used to being a year or so ago. Um, we are making this very unique transition um, from quite quiet spaces to being really sociable again. And that can come with its challenges. It can be a really beautiful process when we're getting to do a lot of things and see a lot of people that we haven't been able to for a while. It can also be overwhelming <laughs> um, and tiring if we're not careful and if we're not able to use our energies in ways that we truly feel aligned with. Um, there's a traditional teaching in yoga that if our hearts and our minds are not aligned in our actions, in what we're doing in our lives, then we get sick, then we get tired, and we get sick. We don't want that. So we're going to tune in today and acknowledge our energy for how precious it is and check in with ourselves so that we're making good decisions for, for ourselves, okay? So get comfortable, um, you know the drill by now, you can sit down, you can lie down, just find a comfortable space and close your eyes. And we'll start by taking a few deep breaths. Just breathing in. Big sigh out. <sighs> Breathing into the belly, into the chest. Exhale. Again, into the belly, into the chest. And exhale. And just checking in with the physical body. We'll take a quick body scan through from the crown of the head. So just bring all of your awareness to the top of the head and then scan, scan down through the skull to the face, through the jaw and the neck, across the shoulders, the collarbones, down the left arm, upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, left hand, left fingers, down through the right arm, right upper arm, right elbow, right forearm, right hand, fingers, through the chest, the rib cage, the back of the body and down the spine through to the lower back, the abdomen, the belly, down into the hips, through the pelvis, through the thighs, fronts of the thighs, back of the left thigh, back of the right thigh, down through the right calf muscle and right shin and through the right kneecap, into the right ankle, the right foot, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, and toes. Into the left knee, left calf, left shin. Left ankle, top of the left foot, sole of the left foot, left toes, scanning through. And just zooming out and seeing the whole body, feeling the whole body as it is right now. And just noticing the energy of the body, how you're feeling today. If there were a 
a weather pattern description, like a weather forecast for how you are feeling today, what would that look like? And just acknowledging that there is no wrong or right here. There is no particular way you need to be. And everything you feel and are in this moment is completely valid and also wonderfully impermanent. Everything shifts so rapidly in the grand scheme of things. So just acknowledge where you're at today and see if you can meet yourself there, accepting, accepting everything you are. Now I'd like to bring to mind, I'll give you the opportunity to bring to mind a time, a moment that you felt really at peace, really joyful, content, relaxed. I'm just bringing that moment that memory, that place, perhaps the people you were with, bringing it all to mind. And let the sensations of this memory completely wash through you so you really feel that joy, that contentment, that peacefulness. And perhaps you feel the corners of the mouth turn up in a smile. You feel the warmth of those sensations. And of course, if there is no obvious memory right now coming to mind, you can imagine. Imagine what it would feel like to feel all of those beautiful feelings at once. Let a smile wash through the whole body. And then come back to your breath. And just acknowledge the rise and fall of the breath. And feeling your body's subtle movements with the breath. And acknowledging the energy you bring in with each breath. We're surrounded by life force energy in this breath that keeps us alive. We drink in life force energy, precious energy. And in this moment, just remembering that you have the choice to use this energy as you choose. And our energy isn't limitless. And certain situations, certain moments of our lives will fill us with more energy. So where is it that you would like your energy to go to? And who are the people and what are the things that replenish your energy, that fill you with vitality, that make you feel so happy to be alive? And why? Why would you use your energy? Why should you use your energy? For anything that doesn't bring you that kind of joy. And 
when we put our energy to the things we feel truly joyful about, we feel truly connected to, and for the things that we can show up in full loving presence, we spread joy, we spread happiness to others, and we spread love. Often it's the case that if we force ourselves into situations, into doing things that don't replenish our energy, it's hard for us to show up in our truth and in love. Take a deep breath. Exhale fully, and just keeping the eyes closed, bring your fingertips to your heart center, the center of your chest, and just gently tap the center of your chest with your fingertips and repeat, I am here. You can say that out loud or silently to yourself, I am here. I am here. And you can use this practice to move more and more from this place of heart, of love, of true presence. Place a hand firmly on your heart now and a hand on your belly. Take a deep breath into both of those places. Exhale. And I hope you can move into your day and the rest of your week and the rest of your lives with full intention, with full love in a way that serves you. And then by extension, we find we're a much better place to serve others. Take care and I'll see you soon.